Hi everyone, this is Farkhan. Today we're going to be looking at the cross-section tool in Ship Project Editor. So we have our container ship demo already open. And the first thing we're going to do is come up to the top ribbon and go to Geometry. And then we're going to click Explore Cross-Sections. That's going to pull up our cross-section view. At the top, we're going to have the side profile of the ship. At the bottom, we're going to have the cross-section view. Now, I like to enable label names and the options. And I also like to see the plan of the ship. So we have both views up here now. And then we can actually see what the names of each thing we're looking at in the cross section is. Now, the red line that you're seeing at the top is where our cross section is currently showing us. And then at the left, you'll see our highlight colors. Turquoise represents any gaps in the model, and pink represents any overlap. So if there's two items that are in the same spot, they of course cannot be. So if we were to click through the model, we would be able to see certain areas actually have issues. And if we go to sections on the left, compartments, we can take a look where we're seeing that issue and click that item. And we can see here that the issue is the engine room double bottom is overlapping with the engine room. So if we click either one on the left, it'll show us where we're having the issues. And if we continue clicking, you can see where that issue is starting and where that issue is ending. Now, another thing you can actually do is you can go single compartment and I'll highlight the engine room. And that'll sh show us in a yellow highlight in both views up here, the entire modeled engine room. And we'll see it here. So from what you've learned here, you can go into your geometry and edit your engine room as necessary. Before you do that, you can actually see if there's any other issues in the model by coming up to the top and choosing Auto Select. Auto Select is going to highlight any potential issues that the program finds with your model. So for example, in addition to the engine room that we saw before, we can see that there's another problem at the bow of the ship, at the 279.9 meter perpendicular. So if I click back into our model, and I go to the area it was showing, we can see that our two passageways are overlapping in the center. And once again, you can use this knowledge to go back into your geometry and fix the problem areas. Thanks for watching. That's all for today's video, but you can always learn more by visiting us at www.herbert-abs.com or you can contact us directly at info at herbert-abs.com.